Hello all, today we will learn how to recount any PID document. For this, SAP transaction code is MI11. What is the benefits of the recounting? See, if we, uh, if we have done any physical inventory verification process in past month, then after one month or till opening of that uh, posting period, that PID is useless and that is used for reference only. For example, if in any old PID document, if any old PID document, there are 900 materials out of which 500 are posted, adjusted for which MI07 executed and 300 are in counted stage and 100 are in non-counted stage. So, we will not able to re we will not able to post these 300 material and we will not able to recount we will not able to count and post these 100 material as well as okay after because after the <coughs> completion of posting period are one month these pids are useless so with respect uh, with reference to these pid this pid we will generate a recounting document using mi11 because in that <coughs> PID, only counted and uncounted documents materials will reflect. No posted materials will be reflect because we have already done the verification, counting and uh, posting process for these 500 materials. So these 500 materials will not coming in new PID documents. Okay, so this is the beauty of this MI11 SAP transaction code, right? So how can we do this <coughs> we will take the practical way <coughs> first i will generate a pid document using mi01 then i will count using mi04 then again we will generate a reference document with respect to that pid document okay mi11 so my main objective is to how to execute this mi11 sap transaction code and what is the benefits of this MI11 transaction code? Okay, so we will take step by step, right? <clears throat> First, we are going to execute the SAP transaction code MI01 to generate any PID document. Okay, so we have filled the plant storage location and uh, document date and plant count date, right? Here I have taken a simple material. We have taken a material and just simply save, simply save, okay. A background document has been generated. <coughs> you can, this is the document, 1002-26560, okay. Just now we have generated this PID document and now we are going to count this PID document, okay. <coughs> Now we are going to count this material. Okay. For example, we have counted 15 quantity as per after the SAP and physical records verification. Okay. We have counted. Now we are going to check the status of this PID document in MI20. See, in MI20, we have counted 15 quantity, book quantity is 20, counted 50, 15, 5 quantity is difference, and difference amount is this. All right. Now, I just copied this document. I want to generate the recounting document. Before recounting, I just want to check the status of this PID document. See, status of this PID document is counted only. Right? And you can assume that one month completed and after one month, this document is no useful okay so i am just going to generate re recounting document with respect to our old pid document right 6560 is our old pid document with res reference to this pid document i just want to generate recounting document okay in mi11 this is mi11 screen fine <coughs> and 
these are the mandatory field uh, old PID document fiscal year plant counted document date right and this screen will appear after entering the MI 11 okay you just save once you save a PID document new PID document is generated see 6561 is new PID document you can check in MI 03 okay <clears throat> right because both the document I have generated on the same date so see only one document that is counted and recounted because with reference to this old document I have generated a recounting document okay now no history will be appear in MI20 with, with reference to old PID document see okay so now it's time to check the <coughs> see new document status not yet counted old document status counted recounted see counted and recounted okay because already we have counted old PID document and new PID document is it is not yet counted now you can recount this 26561 new PID document using MI04 okay you can recount this PID document using MI04 click on the enter this is MI04 screen click on the enter this is our new PID document and earlier we have counted 15 quantity now I just increase the quantity 18 quantity we have right during physical verification after two three months we have found that we have uh, three more quantity now in MI 20 if I fill those both PID document 61 and 62 Six zero and six one C. The status of both PID documents C. One PID document six zero status is counted and recounted. Okay, and new PID document status is counted. Okay, see. so this is the way how can you check the status okay <clears throat> old PID document status counted recounted if you have just counted okay Recounted will be here and new PID document is counted. Now the you can check the difference is MI20. Okay. You can check the difference in MI20. And now after the taking the approval of the competent authority, you can post the PID document easily post the PID document okay so what is the benefit of these newly generated uh, recounted document we have maintained the we have kept the record of old materials okay now uh, we have one month margin now we can easily count and post our PID document okay so this is the way how can you use SAP transaction code MI11. This 
transaction and tutorial are for just for the reference and understanding purpose and knowledge sharing purpose educational purpose only please share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues because knowledge sharing is very important hope you like this sap tutorial happy learning have a great day